हेलो एवरीवन आई एम शलाका देश पांडे वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे टॉपिक इज पैरेलल इंटरफेस बस सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग पैरेलल इंटरफेस बस आई वांट टू टेल यू सम आइडिया अबाउट व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय पोर्ट्स वी हर्ड दिस इज इनपुट पोर्ट दिस इज आउटपुट पोर्ट दिस इज इनपुट आउटपुट पोर्ट नो वट डू यू मीन बाय पोर्ट पोर्ट इज अ सर्किट विच कैन सेंड और रिसीव डाटा वाई आर वायर्ड और अ वायरलेस मीडियम ओके fine now what do we mean by input port input port is a circuit which receives the input data stream okay uh, from the device and output port is a circuit uh, which sends the data stream from device to another device so that is the difference between the input port and output port input port receives the data output port sends the data okay so Uh, there are two types of data transmission. First is a serial data transmission, and other is a parallel data transmission. In the serial data transmission, what is happening? Data is transmitted serially. Means data is transmitted in the successive time intervals. Now, what do you mean by successive time interval? Suppose one bit is transmitted in one second, and second bit will be transmitted at the third second with a gap of one second in between them, and third bit will be transmitted at the fourth second with again the gap of a One second between them, and so on. So successive time interval is there, and in that time interval, the data is sent one after the another. Okay, and receiver arranges that data one after the another. Whereas a parallel communication, data is transmitted at a single instant, means four bits in one second. Parallel lines. Okay, so this is the parallel interface bus. Okay, now you can see. this is a host microprocessor microcontroller these are the peripheral device uh, with which we want to communicate microprocessor or microcontroller wants to communicate with this peripheral device assume that okay now uh, how is the connection in this diagram you can see this data bus b0 to dx minus 1 is connected to data bus of the peripheral device c every microprocessor or controller of a embedded system has a parallel bus inside it and device with which it wants to communicate should also have that parallel bus okay fine now uh, the parallel lines uh, the width of the parallel lines is equal to width of the data bus of the microprocessor or a microcontroller if the data bus bus width is 8 then the 8 uh, lines parallel lines are connected between the microprocessor and the peripheral device okay now how is the communication initiated okay see this communication between the microprocessor and a peripheral device takes place with the help of a control interface okay now what do you mean by control interface what are the control signals of the microprocessor or microcontroller see the control signals are read bar write bar and chip select or device select bar so there are three control signals which control the communication between the microprocessor and the peripheral device okay and those are read bar write bar and the chip select bar okay now suppose a uh, uh, microprocessor wants to send the data to a peripheral device okay means it wants to write on the memory location of the peripheral device then write signal has to be asserted by the host processor it is sent to logic low because it is write bar and when the peripheral device detects that okay then write operation takes place now before all these happenings what is happen now address uh, to which uh, now the every peripheral device is having its own address so a uh, processor selects the address of that device and sends that address to address decoder circuit address decoder circuit sends a active high or asserts the chip select line and when chip select line is asserted by host processor the peripheral device becomes active and when the peripheral device becomes active communication is initiated communication is initiated only after the chip select device chip select line becomes active okay and here in this all the process what is uh, happening is Uh, whatever the communication which is taking place is initiated by microprocessor or microcontroller it is always a host initiated and if a device uh, if any device wants to do communication with your microprocessor or microcontroller 
देन दैट डिवाइस हैज टू सेंड द इंटरप्ट सिग्नल थ्रू इंटरप्ट लाइन ओके नाउ द इंटरप्ट लाइन ऑफ डिवाइस इज कनेक्टेड टू इंटरप्ट लाइन ऑफ अ प्रोसेसर सो वेन एवर अ डिवाइस वॉन्ट्स टू कम्युनिकेट विद द प्रोसेसर इट हैज टू सेंड द इंटरप्ट सिग्नल टू द प्रोसेसर ओके एंड वेन इफ द इंटरप्ट इज अ हाई प्रायोरिटी इंटरप्ट माइक्रो प्रोसेसर और कंट्रोलर कम्युनिकेट्स विद दैट डिवाइस ओके बाय जस्ट गिविंग द फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी टू इट एंड एंड आफ्टर कम्युनिकेशन विद दैट डिवाइस इज ओवर इट रेज्यूम्स इट्स ओरिजिनल टास्क अगेन ओके सो दिस वॉज अबाउट द पैरल इंटरफेस बस ओके आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टेड द टू डेज टॉपिक इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरीज यू कैन टेल मी इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो I will uh, definitely try to solve your queries. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.